Hello and welcome back to my channel. I am Simply Brentley. Don't forget to get your energy in and like, comment, and subscribe. For all of your manifestation needs as well as for personals, head on over to my website, energyllc.com. The link will be in the description box below. Holy Father, angels, ancestors, speak through me. If I reach one person and one person alone, and I know I will, please and thank you. All right, all right, all right. This message is for all of my Aries, all of my Aries. Let's go ahead and grab for all of my Aries. Let's see what's going on here. Let's see what's going on. Now oh, my allergies have been messing up. Kate. What else? What else do we have for all of my Aries? If I don't have anything else, I'm going to go ahead and switch the decks. Okay, what was that that fell off? Crystals, and I saw that twice. Okay, so somebody is definitely having some problems. This is, hate is a very strong word, and we don't take that lightly, okay? So definitely somebody is feeling a lot of hurt at this time because what makes you hate something is some, the reason why you hate it is because it caused you pain, right? It caused you some type of pain, something that was hard to deal with. There could definitely be some karmic family members in this picture, and God box. So it's time for you to use your imagination and understand that you have the power to manifest anything you want, you need, you desire. You have the power to go ahead and write that plan out and discover everything, right? So you can't let any naysayers or anything get in the way. The sun, the greatest, right? You have the energy. You have the power. You have the strength within to go ahead, within, to go ahead and overcome, Aries. Let me go ahead and use my new deck. One of my new decks. It's, what is it called? Spellcasting Oracle deck, I believe. Let's see what else is going on. We have friendship, answers, and empowerment. Okay. So instead of this hate, you dwelling on this hate, you need to definitely turn that into love. Understand that you can definitely separate yourself from a situation. You can definitely remove yourself from a situation that no longer serves you. But keeping this hate in your heart is not serving you. Right? It's not serving you. It's not benefiting you. It's not helping you. So I do see that you need to go ahead and gain some awareness around the situation. And you're getting a lot of answers. Which is, your answers are leading you to a lot of wisdom. And it's going to lead you to empowerment. This could be a, in a friendship, relationship type situation, but a lot of masks are coming off and you're definitely celebrating in this, right? You're celebrating in this, you're being very empowered and anything that's, um, anything is that even like people may not be proud of, you don't care. You're standing in your truth and that's what it's time for to stand in your truth and that's all good. You're gaining a lot of wisdom. It's, it's like, so it's scary. Getting answers can be scary, right? It could be very scary because there's some th certain things that we don't want to the face at certain times, right? But even though this is scary, we have to realize that fear is just an illusion and realize that um, that, that we have to have the strength to overcome anything that's lack, right? Then we have freedom. Yes, and this is going to lead you to freedom. You see how you're boxed in, you're caged in, but you're magical. You're magical in there. And, and you're trying to release yourself, right? You're trying to release yourself and you're getting messages. There goes a dove. You're getting messages and things of that nature that's letting you know where to go, letting you know that you are the light. And look, I don't know if you can see this very clearly, but you're boxed in, but there's, the key is right there. The key is right there. And look at the box that you're boxed in. It's like a cage, right? Why the bird, um, the cage bird saying, right? It's like a cage, but the, it's a cage, but you, in this, in this cage in the, that you're in, you can, you have enough room to stick your hand out and reach for that key and unlock. Right? So you have everything. It's just like you just don't realize that shit. It's just like you don't realize that shit. And you actually have help here. 
You have the key to unlock it and you have help. So once you help it, once you unlock it, you see that um, string? It's like a helium string to some type of hot air balloon or some type of balloon or something that's going to just lift it right off of you. Once you unlock it, it's going to be lifted right off of you. Okay, Aries. So it's something that needs to be unlocked, something that needs to be released. And once you do that, it's going to be lifted and removed from you. And you need that removal from you because it's going to lead you to a very um, a very beautiful place, right? It's going to lead you to a very beautiful place that you want to be and, you, and lead you away from things that you no longer want to be stuck and stagnant on. It's going to lead you to celebration, two of cups. And then we have the moon. So, yeah, it's like any type of de uh, deception, deceptive behaviors, any type of illusions, any type of anxious anxiety moments that you were not seeing clearly. You're understanding that you have to go ahead and follow your intuition. You have to follow your, in your intuition in order to um, go ahead and get what you deserve. Go ahead and get what you deserve. And then we have the Ace of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. So it's like you're getting this. You're, you're building your new legacy. You're, you're starting your own. You're creating your own. And you're being very prosperous in doing it. You're being very prosperous in doing it. Y'all know how I can't talk. And I feel kind of congested right now. But it's all good. It's all good in the hood. But, yeah, you're getting paid with your worth. You're definitely um, sowing your seeds and reaping those rewards from sowing your seeds and planting them, guarding them, and nurturing them. And they're growing. They're growing. You just have to learn that this hate, whatever you're harboring hate towards, is not going to benefit you. It's only going to lead you. It's only going to um, hold you back. And in, in order to get away from that, you have to release that to get to your empowered stage, right? To get to this empowerment, you have to release that and realize that that no longer is for you, right? All right, all right, all right, Aries. Don't forget to get your energy in and like, comment, and subscribe. For all of your manifestation needs as well as for personals, head on over to my website, energyllc.com. The link will be in the description of the box below. As always, peace, love, and namaste.